hush, keep very still, for the strangest things are about to happen. We are going to the carnival of the animals. We are sitting on the branch of a tree overhanging a path. On the left of us is jungle. To the right of us, there is a lake. Behind us nestles a farmyard. All at the moment is quiet. But soon the animals will stir. They will march past us on their way to the great celebration through the jungle itself. was the jungle, just as you would expect. Dark, mysterious, exciting. But wait, something is coming down the path. Of course, the lions. Proud, strong. stealthily past and roaring as they go. from the farmyard, scratching at the earth, wandering here and there, joining the parade of the animals with a boastful cock marching behind them, crowing as he struts along. While it is quiet, let me tell you something about this jungle and the animals in it. The music was written by a Frenchman called Camille Saint-Saëns. As he watched the animals in zoos and in the farmyards near his home, he imagined how they would sound if an orchestra imitated them. This was the result. But shh, more animals are coming down the path. Listen. chasing each other helter-skelter over the piano keyboard. Tiring animals, aren't they? Let's make a wish. Let's ask for something slow and steady. Well, our wish is granted. Look very carefully, and down below you will see two people who are not in a hurry to get anywhere. Two slow, slow people. Two tortoises. Camille Saint-Saëns played tricks with his animals. What could be less like a ballet dancer than an elephant? But here, coming towards us, is an elephant, ambling along to the same tune that another French composer called Berlioz wrote for fairies to dance to.
But now the tune is deep and oh so slow. No single seat on a tree in any jungle could give us the view that Saint-Saëns gives us. Following the elephant down our jungle path come two kangaroos. They leap gracefully from piano to piano. Graceful, gentle and full of life. Let us pause for a moment to look around. That lake, for instance. See, it has a little stream that runs into it, cool and glistening. a little waterfall. And look, bright fish swim around the rocks. I rather think that Camille Saint-Saëns was poking fun at people, just a little, when he wrote his Carnival of the Animals. Listen, for instance, to his version of the donkeys. He calls them people with long ears. It wasn't all fun. There was no joking about his picture of the cuckoo with the clarinet singing the cuckoo's familiar song. He was not joking either when he sent over our tree the rush and beat of wings as a flock of birds swept through the sky in the magic of flight.
did not last long. Down the quiet jungle path come the most terrible monsters of all. Noisy, dreadful animals that have filled people with fear. Pianists practicing their scales. in museums, rattling their way along like noisy ghosts. to the jungle. There has been adventure, especially for the orchestra. There have been jokes. There has been beauty. But there is still something left. For to end the fun, Saint-Saëns added one of the most famous pieces of music written for the cello, the swan, full of elegance, grace, and peace. <laughs> 